Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be super casual. I honestly had this like big elaborate dinner planned and then I realized that I never laid my chicken out. It was in the freezer and totally frozen. So I was like, well, I'm gonna have to scratch that. And as you can tell behind me, my kitchen is a complete disaster. So I was like, you know what? Let's just do a little like cook and clean with me. I need to get this kitchen cleaned before we even start thinking about cooking dinner because right now there's nowhere to cook because everything is just like a teetotal mess. So anyways, I wanna get the kitchen cleaned, the living room picked up and all of that good stuff. And then Bunky and I will start dinner. I honestly have no idea what we're gonna make. I do have some chicken thawed and in the refrigerator, but it wasn't the chicken that I wanted to use for the dinner that I wanna make. So I guess I will just hold off on that dinner and put it in another video probably this week at some point. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna have to figure out what we're gonna have for dinner so I was like let me just pick up the camera and we'll just do a video and hang out together this evening it's already like after 5 p.m. I'm just not picking up the camera so we'll see where the night takes us but I'm gonna go ahead and get this kitchen cleaned um, so that I can at least start thinking about what we're gonna have for dinner. It's like a lot worse I actually already started loading the dishwasher so all of these are dirty these are clean they just need to dry and then I'll put them away and I was gonna show you guys um I got this big ton of lemons because I love to drink lemon water and I was like why don't I just put all of our like fruits and stuff in this bowl that way we can see it and are more likely to actually use it and eat it and honestly it has helped so much and I just love the way it looks on our countertop like the yellow is just so like vibrant and springy I don't know I just love it so honestly just been like actually eating our lemons and bananas we had apples in here Bunky had um something else was in here I forget we already ate it so if you don't put your fruits and veggies out somewhere, I say do it because it honestly, seriously makes you want to actually use them and not waste them. Anywho, besides that, I'm gonna let these dry and then I actually just made these pretzels over on my Instagram story. Um, if you guys did not see it, I will put the recipe down below in the description box, but they are so good. They're like garlic ranch pretzels. They took no time at all, they're so yummy. So I need to put those away. While I was making those, my butter actually like spewed everywhere in our microwave, so I need to wipe that down. I have like bacon splatters all over the um, stove top. So as you can see, I just need to get some cleaning done. So let's do it. still loving my Dawn Power Wash so much. If you have not tried it yet, I cannot recommend it enough. It seriously is amazing for washing dishes and just getting off all of those like stuck on dirty grimy things <laughs> on your dishes. I promise it is so good. It just like dissolves everything right off. Um, this is actually my second bottle, but we um, have like the refills. So we use the same top part, if that makes sense. And I'm pretty sure Bunky broke the like little handle because it doesn't work as good anymore. Um, but nonetheless, it is amazing. So like I was saying earlier, I made these pretzels. They were so easy. It's literally just ranch seasoning, garlic powder, and whatever oil you want. You bake them at 270 for 15 minutes. I'll leave the recipe down below, but on Instagram, you guys had so many good ideas. You were saying like add Parmesan, which I totally should have thought of. That would have been, have been so good. And then also you guys were saying um, cinnamon and sugar to kind of have like that sweet and savory pretzel. Oh my gosh totally making those next time. If this is your first time stopping by, then I do want to say welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. I make new videos every single week. I have lots of recipe and cooking inspo, as well as some vlogs and lifestyle and cleaning and all kinds of things. And I would love for you to join my YouTube family. So be sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. And if you guys are liking this cleaning motivation, give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. Okay, I know I've shown y'all this before, but it just cracks me up. Daisy Mae is seriously just like a little kid. She has to have every single one of her toys out to play with. And I'm like, can you not just 
play with one toy, but no, she wants them all. So anyways, I'm gonna pick up her toys and then vacuum. Um, and then I, sorry, I'm like taking you guys around in circles, probably making you dizzy. I still have out like a lot of my Easter stuff, bunnies and all of that. So I may put those away and just do something different for the time being right here. I kind of have been playing. You can see all of my um, lanterns and stuff over there because I've been like swapping this stuff out. And then I brought this back in here just because I love it. I just think it looks perfect right there. And I added my eucalyptus to it. I brought in this little like candle stand for in here. I don't know, I just love the way like the marble and wood look with this little credenza. I think it's so pretty. And then I flipped this over on this side and I put the blanket ladder here but I do feel like something is missing. I had my full length mirror here for a little bit, but it's just kind of weird to have like a full length mirror in your living room, I think. <laughs> At least Bunky thinks it's weird, so I do need to figure out something to put in this area. And I've thought about putting like shelves on each side of our TV, but I just can't decide if that would be like too much in here. I don't know. And now that we've flipped the couch over here, um, my idea is to do like, four or six of the same size picture frame and either do like black frames or a wooden frame and do three on top of each other. I think it'll look really pretty with like black and white pictures in there. So anyways, that is my idea. I don't know why I'm so out of breath, but I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum and probably like take these bunnies out and fix that thing up. California weather, it's like 90 degrees It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me It's just something about the way that he's making me feel My insides are out, I just wanna shout his name Ah, oh, my body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips Ah, oh, I wanna run him through his hair But I'm trying not to stare, mm-mm I get a little starstruck when I see him I couldn't hate him even if I tried I'm gonna leave it like this for now. I just moved my little elephant in here. I still left my little beads on there. I just think that they look really pretty. And then I put this jar and plant. I love the black and white. I think it just matches our living room really pretty. I had this huge candle that I moved in here and just sat up on that same um, candle holder thing that was up on the credenza. So I'll have to find something else to put up there, but I think it's super cute and looks really good with the rest of our living room stuff. And guess who is off work? Daisy May. My wonky. <laughs> you two are like two peas in a pod. Just my friend. I know. She loves you so much. Okay. We got to figure out what we're having for dinner. Chicken. Well, obviously we know chicken because that's all we got unfrozen. What? I can't with her. She's like obsessed with you. Girl. I know. So sweet. So you know how I told you that I had um wanted to make this big extravagant meal? Well, we have these um bone in skin on split chicken breast which I love to make. That's like one of my favorite things. They are very time consuming kind of. Like they're a lot of work, but they are so worth it. So I wanted to make those tonight. So we'll probably make those tomorrow or on Friday and it'll either be in a video by itself or in my what's for dinner. So I was trying to see if Bunky wanted to have hibachi tonight on our new grill with the other chicken. We can make some fried rice. Um, but he said he doesn't know if he's in the mood for that. So what are you in the mood for? Fajitas. Always. <laughs> Mommy, we had those, I feel like, so recently. And we had quesadilla. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. I don't know what, like, side options, side dish options we have. We just made fajitas. We made quesadillas. No, in my last what's for dinner, we did fajitas. Oh. I hear your belly. Did you hear that? Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. I keep trimming Daisy May. Every time I see like a long spot on her, I'll trim her again. I mean, I think she looks adorable. I could be her new hairstylist. I don't know. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like that spot's a little long there. Okay, we're going to talk about dinner, figure it out, and then I'll pick back up the camera, let you guys know what it is, and we'll cook some dinner together. Okay, so I finally figured out what we're going to have for dinner. I actually found this recipe last week, and it looked so good to me. And I've been telling Bunky I wanted to make it, and I forgot, and then I remembered. So, if you guys have ever made our Caesar chicken that everyone loves, it's very similar to that, except for we're going to add artichokes in. So, we're going to actually, hang on reverse <laughs> the recipe calls for just mayo parmesan and artichokes mixed together pour it on the chicken bake it in the oven it's done but i'm gonna do like half mayo half sour cream i think that'll just be a little bit better but then the parmesan and the artichokes put it in the oven i mean so simple and it sounds a good like so good um and i love artichokes so that's what we're gonna make and then we're gonna have like a little side salad to go with it and call it a night. So it sounds super simple. So let's go ahead and get cooking. So I've got my chicken in my little baking dish and then I'm gonna go ahead and just start like roughly chopping these artichoke hearts. Um, I have just like a couple left in here. So I'll use those and then these, but they are like whole artichoke hearts. So they do need to be chopped up pretty finely. Do you want to Okay, so I've got the oven preheating to 375 and then I've chopped up all of the artichokes and I did put some salt and pepper on the chicken. So now I'm going to go ahead and make this sauce. So Bunky got out our sour cream and our mayo and then um, I'm going to put a little bit of this kind of Parmesan cheese and then a little bit of this shredded Parmesan too. Maybe we can top some or top it with some of that. Yeah, I think this should probably go in here. Yeah, that's right? what I was thinking. Yeah. And then that can just go on top. Okay. So since it's just Bunky and I, I'm just gonna do about a cup of this. I'm gonna do half a cup of mayo, half a cup of sour cream. If you are feeding a larger family, I would say double this. Uh, but since it's just us, I think a cup will be just fine. The cup is actually probably enough for like four to five pieces of chicken, but you'll have to stay tuned till the end to see what we thought about this recipe. Okay, and because y'all know I can't follow the recipe all the way, I'm gonna add in a little bit of pepper just because I don't, I can't make this without some pepper. And then maybe even just a little drizzle of this Italian dressing. Put the dressing in there? Yeah. Don't you feel like there needs to be just a touch of pepper in there? Absolutely. I mean, how are you gonna make a sauce without some pepper? Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I just want like a little bit. What's this gonna taste like? It's gonna taste so good, Bunky. <laughs> well, Parmesan and artichokes, that has like a lot of flavor. You wanna taste it? No, well you can. I'll give it a little taste. Hmm. That's good? I'm just, I'm interested to see how this turns out. <laughs> I think it needs a little bit more of this. Okay. Yeah, but that's good, that's good, that's good. Oh, what if we did a clove of crushed garlic in there? Now you're talking. Okay, that's what we need. <laughs> <laughs> Put like a, a dash of some hot sauce in there, some Frank's. Oh Lord. Y'all don't follow this recipe. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, that'll really help. It'll give it just a little something extra, you know? Where is our Frank's? We never, ever follow a recipe. This is hilarious. But I do think that what we're putting in here is gonna give it more flavor. So we added a little bit of Italian dressing, one clove of garlic, some Franks. What else did we add? A little bit of pepper, but you know. Yeah. I mean, I've literally just put in like five dashes of Franks. I don't think, it, it, it's probably not even gonna do anything. I think it'd just give it a little something. Okay, pour that on top of here, babe. Golly. And this is a ton for these little bit pieces of chicken. Does it 
Does it need to be on the bottom too? No, I think it's fine. It'll seat down there. I mean, maybe that was a lot to make <laughs> for our little pieces of chicken, but whatever. I think it's gonna be so good. Okay, we're gonna top it with some parm and then throw it in the oven. So the chicken is almost done, so I'm gonna go ahead and make our salad. I just picked up this huge thing of salad from Sam's Club, and already kind of has like carrots and stuff in there, so I'm just gonna dump this in our bowl. I have some croutons and some sunflower seeds. We have a little bit of cheese. I think Bunky wants to do this, um, how do you say this? Champagne pear. <laughs> I've also said something crazy. Anyways, this dressing on it, um, and then I may do a little bit of ranch. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put our salad together. We're gonna get in there. <laughs> okay, so our chicken is out of the oven and it smells so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate it up for us. Okay y'all, so we wanted to give you an honest review of this chicken and what we felt about it. Um, it was definitely not our favorite thing ever. It kind <laughs> of just did not have any flavor. Like Bunky said, it literally tastes like artichokes and mayonnaise and that is the best way to describe it. There's just like no flavor. So honestly, neither of us even finished ours. Um, so I think that recipe is kind of a fail. It was very one note. Yes. And um, yeah, it just didn't, it didn't have, it didn't do it for me. It me either. So trial and error, every once in a while you have a recipe that flops and this one I feel like is kind of a flop. Although our salad was still very good. Yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed watching us cook it. Yeah. But I don't know. <laughs> we that, don't recommend it. I don't know that you should make it yourself. So if you haven't like, if you have an artichoke chicken recipe that you love, leave it down below in the comments because I really want to find one because I do love artichokes. Um, so that's why I was like even searching for that because I was like, oh, we have both these ingredients. I bet that would be really good. This one, not so much. Um, or maybe we could make it and just like really doctor it up to the things that we love. Like how, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Like I think you could add some more stuff to it and it might end up being better, but that was not so great. It wasn't that great. <laughs> so anyways, that is our honest opinion of this recipe. Don't make it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.